Hi, hello everyone. Yeah, it's me again, Mama Marial, and welcome to my channel. Yun nga, kamusta na yung lahat? I hope you were all doing better, and of course, ngayon nga ay panibagong video na naman tayo all about mathematics. And in this video, we are going to discuss the relationships of geometric figures and how are we going to derive relationships of geometric figures using measurements and by inductive reasoning. So this is for grade 7th, 3rd quarter. Alright? And of course, when we say inductive reasoning, it is a type of reasoning that involves drawing evidences. So before we start, dapat pala alam nyo din yung all about the different kinds of angles or different types of angles. So ililive ko yan dito sa taas. Ayan yung link. So pwede nyo siyang tingnan and panoorin. And doon idiniscuss ko yung iba't ibang klase ng angles. Alright? And of course, ilalagay ko din dyan sa ating description box. So yun na nga. Without further ado, let's start the discussion. So for the first one, what is the supplementary angles? So supplementary angles is if the sum of the two angles is equal to 180 degree, then they are supplementary. Okay? So maraming nalilito sa supplementary and complementary and later on i-discuss ko yung complementary. Okay? And wag kayong malilito basta sinabi nating supplementary angles, dalawang angle na kapag pinagsama it is equal to 180 degree. Okay? Like for example, we have here two angles. The first angle measures 120 degree, while the second angle measures 60 degree. Since 120 degree plus 60 degree is equal to 180 degree, therefore, these two angles are supplementary. Right? And for our next example, we have 105 degree and 75 degree. Um, when we add up 105 to 75, that is equal to 180 degree. Therefore, these two angles are supplementary. All in all, basta dalawang angles na kapag pinagsama mo and it adds up to 180 degree, that is supplementary. Okay? For the next one, so dito nga medyo maraming nalilito pero um, dahil nga na-discuss na natin siya, so huwag na kayo malilito, okay? Alam nyo na siya, right? So we have here the complementary angles, okay? And sinasabi niya that if the sum of the two angles is equal to 90 degree, then they are complementary. Ayun. So si supplementary 180 degree. Okay? Kapag pinagsama yung dalawang angles. Dito naman kay complementary, 90 degree kapag pinagsama mo yung dalawang angles. Alright? For example, we have here a right angle. And remember, a right angle always measure 90 degree. Tama? And yung right angle, hinati natin sa dalawa. Okay? So, we have here 45 degree and 45 degree. 45 plus 45 is 90 degree. Therefore, these two angles are complementary. Okay? Another example is, angle 1 measures 55 degree. Angle 2 measures 35 degree. 55 plus 35 is 90 degree. Therefore, angle 1 and 2 are complementary. Alright? Okay, so for the third one, we have the vertical angles. Okay? Vertical angles are pairs of opposite angles made by intersecting lines. So, when we say intersecting lines, di ba ito yung dalawang line that meet at one point. Ayan. Di ba? Dalawang line, ito yung line 1, line 2, na nag-meet sa iisang point. Okay, so ganun lang. So, sabi dito, pairs, ibig sabihin, magkapares na opposite angles. Okay? So, we have here the example, angle A, angle B, angle C, angle D. Okay. Angle A and angle B are vertical angles. Why? Because they are opposite angles. And of course, si angle C and angle D are opposite angles. Magka-opposite sila ng direction. 
as well as A and B kanina, opposite in direction. So, kaya sinabi natin opposite angles. Right? And of course, angle C and angle D are vertical angles. So, meron tayong dalawang pares ng opposite angles. Okay? And that is what we call vertical angles. V A and B, C and D. Okay, so for the next one, we have the adjacent angles. Adjacent angles are two angles that have a common vertex and common side but do not overlap. Okay, so as you can see in our first figure, we have angle A and angle B. Adjacent angles are two angles, dalawang angles that have a common vertex. Ibig sabihin, iisa lang yung vertex nila. Dalawang angles sila pero iisa lang yung vertex nila. And of course, common side. Same din sila ng side. Okay? So this is the best example of adjacent angles. We have angle A. Ayan, yan yung angle A natin. And we have angle B. Okay. As you can see, iisa lang yung kanilang vertex. Ito yung vertex. And of course, pare-parehas lang sila ng side. Side na to, ito, and ito. Meaning to say, dalawang angle, na iisa lang yung vertex, and yung side nila is same lang. Okay? So, we have angle A and angle B. Okay? And of course, for the next figure, we have the not adjacent angles. We have angle 1 and angle 2. And as you can see, si angle 1 is may sariling vertex. Si angle 2 ay may sarili din siyang vertex. Meron din silang sari-sariling lines. Ayan. So, meaning to say, angle 1 and angle 2 are not adjacent. Okay. Uh, for the third figure, we have here two angles again. Angle 1, angle 2. Okay? As you can see, sabi dito, do not. Do not overlap. Ano ba pag sinabing overlap? Hindi sila pwedeng magkapatong. Ayan. E, itong si angle na to, itong maliit na angle, is nandito siya sa ibabaw ni angle na to. So, meaning to say, nag-overlap sila. That's why they are not adjacent. Okay, next, we have the linear pairs. Alright? So, linear pairs are two angles on a line. They are formed when two lines intersect. So, from the word itself, linear pairs, dalawang angles na nasa iisang linya. Take a look at this example. We have angle A and angle B. As you can see, um, we have here a straight line. And of course, yung line na nakaslant, wherein magi intersect siya kay straight line. Alright? And, nakapag-form tayo ng dalawang angle, angle A and angle B. Okay? So, itong... Angle A and angle B are linear pairs. Kasi si angle A and si angle B ay nasa iisang linya. So, masasabi din natin to as a supplementary angles. Kasi, di ba, we have a straight line. And a straight line measures 180 degree. And when you add up A to B, angle A plus angle B, that is equal to 180 degree. That is why, Si linear pairs, itong linear pair na to, masasabi din natin siya as supplementary angles. Okay? Again, linear pairs are two angles on a line. Dalawang angles na nasa linya. Okay, next is we have the perpendicular lines. Si perpendicular lines are two lines meet at a right angle. Alright? So, as you can see, we have here the figure. We have line 1 and line 2. And si perpendicular lines, matatawag natin siya as perpendicular lines kapag nakapag-create sila ng right angle. Okay? So, as you can see, we have here a right angle. Ayan. As well as this one, this one, and this one. Right angles, ayan, di ba? Meaning to say, line 1 is perpendicular to line so, ganito yung itsura ng ating perpendicular. Okay? Nakakapag-create sila ng right angle. Alright? So, ganun lang kasimple si perpendicular lines. As you can see, kapag ganito yung, yung markings ng angle, 
makakapag-create ng box that is a right angle and that is equal to 90 degree. Alright? So, itong mga ganito, hindi siya right angle. No? So, ganito yung itsura, right angle yon. Alright? So, ganun lang kasimple si perpendicular lines. Basta nakapag-create or nag-meet sila at a right angle, they are perpendicular. Next is, we have the parallel lines. So, si parallel lines are lines that do not intersect. Do not intersect. Meaning to say, never sila magkakatagpo. So, as you can see, we have here two lines. Ayan. And kahit pa i-extend mo yan, both direction, extend both direction, never silang mag intersect di ba? So, yan yung tinatawag nating parallel lines. Hindi sila magkakross. Ganun lang kasimple. So, di ba? Ito yung ating intersect ting lines. Ito, parallel lines. Intersecting lines, parallel lines. Alright? So, ganun lang kasimple. And, of course, for the last one, we have the congruent angles. Remember that congruent angles are angles that have the same measure. Ibig sabihin, magkatulad sila ng measurement. Like, for example, we have this angle measures 48 degree. And this angle measures 48 degree. Therefore, they are congruent. So, ito yung sign ng ating congruent. Alright? Basta angles na magkakatulad ng measurement, they are called as congruent angles. Ganun lang kasimple. Okay, so kung napapansin nyo, yung diniscuss natin is the relationship between angles and lines. Kung paano ba nakakapag-create ng mga angles, which is natatawag natin sila as supplementary, complementary, congruent, vertical, adjacent, and linear pairs. And kung paano ba natatawag na lines as perpendicular and parallel lines. And paano ba sila nagkakapare-paras, nagkakaiba-iba. So yun, thank you, thank you so much everyone for watching. I hope you have learned something from me. And of course, do not forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share this to your friends. And always remember to make your day productive by gaining knowledge. Okay, God bless everyone and see you on my next video.